Whitney. Hello and welcome to Whitney D TV. If you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button and notification bell. Move it from personalized to all so you can receive all notifications. Head on over to the community tab and join the conversation. Welcome. Let's get into it, shall we? What you guys are all here for is the as real information that I always discuss and talk about. I don't know why it pours you guys in, but I'm here for it. Okay, go ahead and you know stay tuned for that because I'm here for it. Okay. Um, so the thing is, is that in regards to Asriel, a lot of stuff has been taking place. Okay, a lot of things in regards to Asriel, and you guys know that I do my videos and my commentary behind Asriel because I feel that at the end of the day, I looking i mean i could be wrong you guys tell me in the comments i feel that i'm actually the only individual that actually takes up for asriel for the most part or if i don't take up for her i try to give a realistic approach when it comes to asriel well here recently i have people <laughs> in my comments and you guys know i always take out a moment to actually um not necessarily confront but i try to discuss you know some of your comments especially if not necessarily that the common sense because some i'll be having a lot of pee hoppers in my comments and i just kind of like have to look over them because they sound real ridiculous but i i try to be an individual that you know again i'm, I'm going to give a person the benefit of a doubt okay so this one particular comment i'm going to read it's very lengthy you guys so hang in there but i am going to read it and I want to give my perspective in regards to what this individual is saying. And like I said, it's pertaining to Asriel. Real were you, my boo, love Asriel? You, yes. I mean, I, I love her. I mean, she's a young girl to me. She reminds me of my niece. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. This is from Don't Get Mad At Me. She states in all caps, <laughs> okay? What's sad is to be sucked in by a psycho, yeah, a psycho liar. I'm truly amazed by all the negativity, uh, what she say, sprued towards R. Kelly. Like he went to her parents' house and snatched her out. Okay, I'm not gonna read like that. Snatched her out the window. I'm sorry that some of you were abused as children, but please place the blame on or what, where it belongs, where your parents and or your abusers, because R. Kelly has done nothing to any of you. It is apparent that those of you who were abused were abused by force, but if ass was in, in need, I mean, indeed, abuse, which I doubt, and she spelled doubt, D-O-I-U-B-T. Yeah, it was by choice. But we all have to make money somehow and somehow has to play at some, I'm sorry, y'all, someone has to play the fool. So if, if we're, because she didn't say we're, if we're keeping with the hive, the lord baby see you see what i'm saying this is the reason why i be like stop placing stuff in my comments if you can't take out the time to really read over your sentence structure and proper anyways then let's go all the way let's go with parents who don't protect their children and call them i don't give a damn hive and those who be believed as the what happened to my damn brain hive y'all look i promise you i cannot make this up the truth reality okay as was as was reared by crooks and she is a crook who can who can she help when she's always disciplined displaying i think that's what she meant erratic behavior drunk high cursing bashing or kelly or acting like a stripper like a stripper. Okay, let me stay focused. She's not the first woman to be dumped by a man and won't be the last. But she has to play this all the way out because R. Kelly still has a little money and that's exactly what she wants. Every time I hear the word heal in the same sentence with her name, I almost want to vomit, girl, throw up, okay? First of all, heal from what? Oh, from being told by Tasha K and her dad that she was Kelly's favorite girl, only to find out she wasn't if she truly needed it to. Okay, y'all, it goes on. Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics is way more than its namesake. From primers, mascaras, eyeshadows, foundations, lippies, lashes, and so much more. 
for that fierce look you can't find anywhere else. Lips and lashes by Shea Cosmetics. Tell them Whitney from Reviews Whitney D sent you. Sorry, y'all. Oh, let me, okay. Uh-uh. <clears throat> heal, if she truly needs to heal, she would be doing just that. Not on YouTube acting and looking like she just escaped from an asylum. <laughs> Sorry. No decent girl leaves her parents at that age unless, of course, she's going off to college. Not to go live. Not to go, sorry y'all, that's my fault. Not to go live with a man who's her father's age. It doesn't matter what he's offering. Again, if she was abused, it was by choice, not by force. To be honest, she still needs to be, y'all, I promise you this is a real comment. She's just going on and on and on. She still needs to be with R. Kelly instead of a timid mom peeping in the door like she's retarded. Ooh. No, you didn't talk about Miss Alice. Girl, I got something for you. And afraid of that loose cannon at the very least. When she was with R. Kelly, she looked good and acted like she had some sense. Did she? Okay. If you disagree, that's fine. Girl, I did. You, you spoke for me. <laughs> Just know that I've stood elbow to elbow with those same women to it include the ex-wife snotting, crying, and lying on R. Kelly at his events and birthday parties. Just as the production of SRK started, and I was shocked when, I, when it aired. Who celebrates the birthday of their accusers? You people are really being taken on a ride, but continue. Be blessed. Okay. So, um, again, I cannot make any of this up. Um, yeah. Shazaz Creations is a virtual boutique for creative customized apparel, tumblers, and jewelry. Allow them to create a keepsake that you can use as a heirloom for centuries to come. Everything from blankets to pillows, allow your memories to come alive with every picture. Tell them Whitney D from Whitney D TV sent you. Use the Whitney D code or link in the description box below. Bye. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into what was just discussed, okay? All right, um, moderators, please don't block anybody. You can place them on timeout, but don't like kick nobody out, put them on timeout. But if we got some quote unquote moles in here, please let me know because I'm not familiar. You guys know I, I'm not that deep in this. Okay, let's get into it. So she states, don't get mad at me, states, what's sad is to be sucked in by a psychopathic liar. Okay. Um, I don't believe, like I said, and I stand seriously 10 toes down when I say this. I do not believe that Azrael is a liar in the sense of what they're stating she is. I do believe that in the past she did lie, but it was in benefits of her man. Okay. I have a whole husband and I tell you it's sometimes I bite my tongue. I don't say anything to my my people, my family, because let's be real. And that's what pisses me off. Because if we're going to look at this as a um, realistic relationship, like we want to say it is when we know during what this is, this was a celebrity relationship. But anyways, if we're going to look at it as a real relationship, quote unquote, then the thing is, is that I do it myself. And my husband ain't no R. Kelly or none, none of, you know, out there in the world and stuff like that. And I still keep a lot of stuff to myself because it's none of your business. What we have going on is none of your business because I know at the end of the day, we might fight, we might argue, we might cuss each other out. But I'm going to go back to him and I don't want you to be depicting him a certain way. So there's a lot of times I go around family, friends, and they ask, oh, yes, we're great. And I could have been a chopped his head off. He could have chopped my pinky finger off. And we are just not doing good. But at the end of the day, that's none of your business, okay? But the thing is, is that that makes her a liar because she sat on Gail King and she lied for you, you ignorance that didn't see past that. When you a grown woman, you can see past the bullcorn. And I did. When she sat there, I was like this poor baby. And then she cried out of nowhere. You, you guys just don't understand. She was like throwing a whole fit. And a grown woman would sit there and be like, boo, what's up? I'm not telling you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. My man didn't do nothing. She was like really just 
going off, like throwing a fit, like a, a, a kid. Anyways, um, and all the negativity that sprouted R. Kelly boo boo is because of the things that he did before Azrael was even brought up. Baby, do the math. Azrael is what, 22, 23? R. Kelly is 52, 53. Baby, she wasn't even born when he first started doing all the stuff that he is alleged to have done. Okay? So, why are you wondering why it's being spewed? Uh, uh, spewed? That's what you meant? Spewed? Because you said spewed. Okay? <laughs> okay? Why are you wondering why it's being spewed towards R. Kelly? It's because of the things that he decided to do well before there was R. Kelly. Well before there, I mean, uh, Asriel. Well, well before there was a Jocelyn um savage okay and all the other alleged victims of his haram this has been going on since yesteryears okay let's be honest and let's be for real okay so stop it okay now she goes on to say um shazaz creations is a virtual boutique for creative customized apparel tumblers and jewelry allow them to create a keepsake that you can use as a heirloom for centuries to come everything from blankets to pillows allow your memories to come alive with every picture tell them whitney d from whitney d tv sent you use the whitney d code or link in the description box below bye I'm sorry that some of you were abused as children, but please place the blame and or hate where it belongs. Okay, so this is the theme. This is something that that's the reason why I kind of dis I, I don't really respect um Nika Knight because she says the same thing. She feels that a lot of us people that have been abused, that we're in our feelings and that we're uh we're projecting our feelings and emotion towards R. Kelly because of what we went through. Well, baby, okay, like you can say that to somebody that's not, that don't have a form of intellect, but you're talking to the right one, okay? That's exactly what you're going to do in cases of anything, okay? You're going to go off of your, your experiences, okay? And that's why I'm saying you guys contradict yourself in the same breath. One minute you guys want to say, well, he got off. Um, he, he doesn't, he, he got off that case when it came to the girl that he pissed on, okay? But then again, you want to sit there and say, well, didn't the parents know better that he has a history? Why did they let her go off? So which one is it? If we're going to roll with the fact of the matter that this man did nothing wrong, that he got off that check, that he got off that charge, then basically what the parents did by letting her go off with this man was nothing wrong. Do you hear me? Now, I'm preaching tonight. Wh wh which one is it? Is it that they were doing something wrong by letting her go off with this man who clearly was stated to be free that he did nothing wrong? Or are we going to actually be honest and say that he had a history of the stuff that he did wrong and they were out of order for allowing him to be in the same prison? Which one are we going to go with? Okay. So at the end of the day, that's why, like I said, to get back on topic, it irritates me when people say you're just using your emotions. Well, you're using your emotions because you haven't experienced that. So you're, you're not understanding or comprehending the level of personalism that comes by situations like this. And this is why this is so personal to me, because I have experienced sexual abuse. It wasn't with the R. Kelly. It was with a family member. And I didn't get the um, form of uh, uh, ramification, if you will, or justice, if you will. I had to pick up the freaking pieces and keep it pushing. And that's why it irritates me why people say, oh, she needs to be, um, she needs to get healing. She needs to get therapy. I didn't get no therapy and I'll heal just fine. Okay. Just fine. I have some issues, but you know. Okay. Wait, pause. Er I am happy to say that I am a brand ambassador of Noel. Noel is handcrafted, no harsh chemicals, scrubs, oils, soaps, and more. Quality skincare at affordable prices. Check them out and let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you by using either my code Whitney30 at checkout or the link in the description box below. Real world states, I'm sorry for for his for this when his sisters was reading the letters, but I know he's guilty and have always been team truth. And if I'm supporting, just want to support correctly for myself and salvation and they turn that into me being a R. Kelly supporter. Okay, well, babe, 
I'm just going to put it out here like this. Like, I have a lot of R. Kelly supporters, if you guys want to be honest, that are on the platform. I've seen them in the comments state that, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm on your channel because I support R. Kelly. But you say some real stuff. And that's fine. If you uh, like the commentary and you, you know, like what I have to say, I have no problem with that. This is a free speech channel, you guys. Mo's um um trolls you guys are all welcome okay so we're gonna keep it pushing moderators husband included you guys put people on time out uh give them an opportunity um but you know i mean as greater as he does in me than he does in the world can't nobody shut me down so trolls moles uh p hivers you're all welcome okay anywho um let's see um i'm gonna continue and then i'm gonna uh um go into it thank you nikki Okay, because this is long, you guys. So I want to address everything. Um, so she said, it is apparent that those of you who were abused were abused by force. But if as was indeed abuse, which I doubted it was by choice. Can you believe some something disgusting as that? Something disgusting as that. Okay, now let me just sit up here and take you guys on a journey. Okay, it's a lot of situations that women and men, let's be real, men can be put in a situation to where they are sexually abused, and it really is kind of like in a sense you kind of chose it, you know, because you got into a relationship. Nobody, and I've said this on a video before, nobody comes to an individual and says, Hi, I'm gonna beat you upside your head in less than two months, or Hi, I'm gonna rape rape my stepdaughter when we get married year two like come on now nobody goes into a, a a situation and state hey i'm going to i'm going to bring you into a five year um uh five relationship that i have with other five girls and then eventually i'm gonna turn you into a sex slave and i'm gonna starve you i'm gonna do all this and that. of course she probably did go into it thinking that oh okay she was seven 16 17 years old you idiot like come on now like, come on, baby, you want headphones? Okay, but so you can listen in. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Mic check one, two, two. But come on, you guys. Like, who goes into a relationship knowing that they're going to be a sex slave? Knowing that they're about to be abused? Knowing that they're about to eat their own feces? Let's be real, okay? Like, I don't think nobody, oh, where do I sign up for that? I mean, come on. Like, seriously, okay? So let's not do that. That's very sick and conniving for you to say something like that. You know, say most of you guys are abused by force and, you know, I doubt she was abused. But if so, it was by choice. Get out of her. OK, because if if she went into it believing that she had opportunities to better her career, then that that was definitely not by choice either. She got into it with hopes of maybe this would be a great opportunity for me to enhance my career. You know what I'm saying? Like stop she's she was 17 years old what were you thinking how were you thinking what manipulative schemes did you do when you were 17 years old like miss me with that okay whatever okay so but we all have to make money somehow and y'all get on my nerve with that okay do y'all not know the history of her family like they had her in operatic um musical courses and and practicing and things to that nature. This young lady came for money, okay? She, R. Kelly wasn't gonna do anything extra that her parents couldn't have done for her, okay? So yeah, this whole money ploy is very ignorant to me. You know, it's just, it was just, ah, okay. Um, Ezra was two when he got his first case. She is not to blame. People sound crazy. They absolutely do. Like, that's just ignorant. I'm, I just I just can't. Anyways, she goes on to say, um, I, I don't know what she said. I, 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 I'm not even going to read into that because remember, she started getting real, real crazy. But she did say that she was reared up by crooks and she's a crook. And then she goes on to say that she was displaying erratic behavior. Uh, drunk high cursing bashing or kelly are acting like a stripper and the thing is is that you guys gotta understand at the end of the day because i baby if y'all want me to go into some 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 um videos in regards to how children are not necessarily children but how um young ladies 
quote unquote, and I use that term very loosely, how these young females are acting nowadays, then you're going to be in for a rude awakening because these young ladies are on another way from me. These young ladies have uh, Cardi B's and, and Meg the Stallions to look up to and stuff like that. These are not your normal 21, 22 year olds that are dressing, um, you know, appropriately. They are not. They not. They got TikToks and stuff like this. And I, this is when the new wave of IG was coming out. Uh, well, Snapchat was coming out. And you can send pictures real quick and erase stuff like get out of here with that. My niece does the same thing, dress the same way, does the same thing, you know, as a, no, a, a normal uh, 20 something year old individual would like, I just don't understand why people are acting as if this young lady is doing anything different from any of the other individual. I mean, any other, other young women that are tw in their twenties, 21s and 22s and 23s like miss me. And the thing is she, she did, she goes on to say, um, being told by Tasha K and her dad that she was R. Kelly's favorite girl and only to find out she wasn't if she truly needed healing. Okay, so in regards to what she said about Tasha K, um, who cares? Not not trying to be funny or shady. Who cares what Tasha K had to say in regards to her not being the only one? These are her experiences that she had while being there. OK, and she has paper trails to to present that it was conversations that she had with this man. It was things that he was saying and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, she said herself, she, you know, going into it, he was saying how he had five other girls and this, and that, and the third. So it was, you know, like, oh, OK, maybe this is normal for a celebrity and this and, that and the third or whatever the case may be. So girl, bye. I don't think she just felt like she was just the only one. I think she felt like, you know, he presented it as if she was the one, you know, and come on now, what dudes don't, you know, feel like, you know, uh, uh, put it out there to where it makes make them feel like they're the only one. Like, come on, like, come on, come on now. Okay. Like, you know, we, we've been there where a dude make us feel like we're the only one and only believe, uh, find that that we're not in what happens. Girls and boys, everybody, they get ignorant. You get very ignorant. You get very defensive because you feel like, dang, like what happened? Like I thought I was the only one. You know what I'm saying? And then what happens? Stuff turns out and it goes left. So don't make it seem like she's responding, reacting just, oh, so crazy. Because she's responding the way any other young lady would if they find out that, oh, my God, I'm not the only one. But anyways, okay, then she goes on. No decent girl leaves her parents at that age unless, of course, she's going off to college. Girl, bye. Okay. And, um, look, okay. Even in college, baby, I was trying to find what was happening. Okay. So, no, if a dude is getting into your ear that is two, three, four, five times older than you, you going to go with, with, with that. You're going to go with that, especially if, if he's laying the, the smack of the down it on you in a way that you've never experienced. That's just like when you get exposed to sex for the first time and then your mama be like, oh, you spelling yourself. You know what I'm saying? You doing this, you doing that. You know, you acting grown or whatever the case may be. That's because you don't open up a Pandora box. You know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me a whole full-blown grown man that had, had life experiences gets in bed with her it can't be possible that he turns her out and, and has her experiencing stuff on a different level. Okay, then. Oh, so we don't know. We don't we don't know what that 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 is, right? He goes off in to say something in regards to Miss Alice. Okay. And I, for one, am not finna stand with that. And I hate when people talk about Miss Alice. No offense to Asriel. Talk about Asriel. No offense to Miss Angelo. Talk about Miss Angelo. But don't talk about Miss Alice because she's been doing very well to stay herself behind scenes and not be in public um, like that and not do many interviews and things to that nature. Um, I can say myself, you know, I've actually asked her on several occasions to, um, to actually do an interview with me. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, no, I don't, I don't do that stuff. You know, I'm just to myself for the most part. And I, I just respect it because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, I don't want to be that per person that forces anybody to do anything that they don't want to do or whatever, but she's not for all of that. And I feel that it was very beautiful how she conducted herself when Asriel was cutting up that stuff. She acted like normal mama me, like, what the hell? <laughs> she was like, who gonna clean up this? You know what I'm saying? She was, I mean, I didn't see nothing wrong with her. And then when she saw that, okay, my baby is like hurting, she's breaking down, you know, she went over there and she come, come uh, fronted her. And so I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see her being timid. 
What was she supposed to be acting out gang gang? Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Cut that up, daughter. What's up? That's stupid. That's ignorant. She went over there. She consoled her daughter. She made sure that she was okay. You know, and I, I really, I really appreciate that. Like, I felt like that was more realistic when it comes to a mother than anything else that she would have reacted or re how she would have responded. She went over there to console her daughter to see if her daughter was okay. You know what I'm saying? She probably have never experienced her doing anything like that. And you guys also got to take into consideration this girl's in therapy. Okay. She really is in therapy. And it's a lot of stuff that they're, you know, divulging and bringing back up and resurfacing and things to that nature. And for her to sit there and cut up a jacket and all this stuff like that, they probably did bring some stuff out of her. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, y'all just be doing too much to this young lady, you know? And it's just ridiculous. It's like, God dang, if y'all not have, you know, like, any kind of morals for yourself, like, you know, like goodness. Anyways, um, so I didn't re I don't respect that. She's that lady is um, not retarded and she's not, she wasn't afraid of Asriel. She would have stayed at the door. She was just trying to let her have her time, let her have her space. And then when she knows, oh, okay, let me, you know, she went over there and she hugged her and consoled her daughter. Like, stop it. Like this, you just, you got too much time on your hands to be going all out like this. And you ain't got enough time to reread your sentences and do proper grammar and edit it. But that's neither here nor there. Um, you said that she looked good and acted like she had some sense when she was with R. Kelly. Um, can you actually tell me when was this love? When, when was this? When, are you talking about when she was on the Gail King show? Is that what you're talking about? Because at that point in time, you didn't physically see her with R. Kelly. He was just a miss. And then, are we talking about when she was on TMZ? Uh, because he was tap dancing and click clacking and snapping and making sure she didn't say anything wrong. And then even then, she wasn't physically with him. He was just in the vicinity. So when are you exactly trying to tell me that she acted like she had sense or something like that? when she was with R. Kelly. Cause all those times that you're stating, she wasn't conducive to her well being. So, oh Lord, y'all just, I just, I'm sorry. Like I say, sense ain't coming, okay? Common sense ain't coming. All right, and so um, that's that on that. Cause I'm not gonna continue to read into this. I just feel that you guys need to really um, put a lot of things into perspective. Um, and this young lady to be one of them, like, golly, like get your foot off her neck and embrace this young lady, lift her up. She is trying her best to get herself back on track and refocus and things to that nature. Now, from what I heard, um, cause I don't dig in deep to R. Kelly. I just more so am supportive of the alleged victims. Okay. I saw, I heard through a little birdie that R. Kelly got denied. Okay. Um, and I'm not trying to be messy. I'm not y'all. When I re-edit this and I break everything down and put highlights in there. Um, I saw that Asriel made a post. I don't know if you guys saw the post on Twitter, but she tweeted, look at God. And this was at 3 23 PM. Now I don't know when the ruling came in, but I did go in there and I re I responded. And I was like, are we talking about the ruling? She didn't respond. But I was just like, mm hmm. But yeah, she said, look at God. Okay. And that was at 3.23 p.m. So somebody in the comments, let me know when the ruling came in. Maybe that's what she was talking to. Um, so you know, I I, I don't know, but I was just like, ooh, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyways, so um, let me see. She's been good holding up through the years. She has been, you know, she really has been. And I feel like, shoot, kudos to her. She's exuding strength that I don't think I could. I'm not going to tell y'all I ate poop. I'm not going to tell y'all I dig my nose wrong, let alone tell y'all that I ate my feces. I'm not going to do that. That's why I be like, when people be dogging her and talking about her, I'm like, this girl throws herself up under the bus. Like how more embarrassing can, uh, can you get? You know what I'm saying? Like, get out of here. Like, like, come on now. Like, God dang, like give this girl a break. Like she don't really talk about our Kelly. She talks about her situation and what she went through. And for those that say that she's not a face or she can't be a representation of abuse, you're ignorant. 
She is they got abuse exuding out of her freaking pores. And she will be a good example to be able to, um, you know, exemplify to individuals and, and um, you know, let them know, you know, shoot, I was young and you need to listen to your parents. You need to, you know what I'm saying, be more alert and more aware of your surroundings and things to that nature. Okay. And that's period pool. I just, I just, people just be acting very ignorant. Okay. So Thank you for tuning into the show. Now it's your turn. We want to hear from you. But remember, keep it cute or get the boot. Let's talk in the comments down below. Check out all our sponsors and affiliates in the description box. And, and don't forget to join the Witness Nation by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. Until next time, this is Whitney D with Whitney D TV. Signing off.